Hi, it's me, Granny. Once upon a time, there lived Harry in a quaint village, surrounded by lush green fields, where his parents, Mary and Mr. Roger, owned a charming farm. The farm was home to various horses, and among them, one mare captured Harry's heart. This particular mare was pregnant, and the anticipation of the upcoming fall filled the air with excitement. As the days passed, the much anticipated moment arrived. The mare gave birth to a beautiful foal, and Harry's joy knew no bounds. He named the foal Luna, and from that day forward, their bond grew stronger with each passing moment. Harry spent his days playing with Luna, creating memories that would last a lifetime. In this peaceful village, Harry, Luna and Mary shared a tranquil morning routine. As the sun painted the sky with hues of orange and pink, Mary prepared breakfast while Harry and Luna played in the yard. Breakfast is ready, dear. You too. Harry and Luna raced to the kitchen, laughter echoing through the air. Mary smiled, relishing the simple joys of their mornings. Dad, have you seen Luna today? She looks so happy running around in the field. I'm glad she's enjoying herself, Harry. She's special one. Just be careful not to get too close. Horses can be unpredictable. Don't worry, Dad. Luna and I understand each other. I can spend hours just being with her. However, the idyllic life on the farm took an unexpected turn when Mr. Roger decided to sell everything and move to the city. His motive was to provide Harry with better educational opportunities. The news hit Harry hard, especially when he learned that Luna couldn't accompany them to the city, as horses were not allowed. Dad, I heard you talking about selling the farm. What's going on? Harry, we are moving to the city. I want you to have better opportunities. Get a good education. But what about Luna? Can't we take her with us? Horses aren't allowed in the city, son. It's a big change, I know, but we have to think about your future. Dad, I can't believe we are leaving Luna behind. It's not fair. I know it's tough, Harry. But we have to do what's best for you. Mr. Richard will take good care of Luna. 
I won't be the same. Luna's my friend, Dad. I don't want to say goodbye. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices, son. I promise we'll visit her whenever we can. Despite Harry's plea to take Luna with them, Mr. Roger had to make a difficult decision. The farm, the horses, and Luna were sold to a man named Mr. Richard. Hi, Mr. Richard. I'm Harry. The one who used to live on the farm with Luna. Ah, Harry. I've heard a lot about you. Luna seems to have a special place in your heart. I really miss Luna. She was like a friend to me. I hope she's doing well here. Dad said Luna is in good hands, but I just wanted to make sure she's happy here. Your dad was right. Luna has a good life here. Plenty of space to roam and other horses for company. Thanks, Mr. Richard. It means a lot to me that Luna is in good hands. I'll never forget the memories we shared. You are welcome, Harry. Luna has a home here. And you are always welcome to visit and relieve those memories. The impending separation weighed heavily on Harry's heart, and the thought of leaving Luna behind brought tears to his eyes. The day of departure arrived, and as the family bid farewell to village, Harry couldn't shake off the overwhelming sadness. Luna stood in the distance, looking at Harry with those innocent eyes. Unaware of the impending separation, Harry approached Luna, and as he hugged the foal, he felt a profound sense of loss. I'll miss you, Luna. Harry whispered. His voice choked with emotion. Luna nuzzled against him, as if understanding the unspoken words. The bond they shared seemed unbreakable, yet circumstances forced them to part ways. Dear viewers, this was the first part of my story. If you want to see more, stay connected with me by like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.